Hi there! Let's go through a brief overview of some of the exciting new features and enhancements available in Jamf Pro 11.13. The first Jamf Pro release for 2025 begins with a major update, single sign-on integration with Jamf Account for cloud-hosted Jamf Pro environments. By enabling this integration, administrators can log in to Jamf Pro and other supported Jamf products with a Jamf ID, allowing for multi-factor authentication and reducing the number of login credentials we all need to remember. Single Sign-On, or SSO, will also be required for exciting upcoming features like Compliance, Blueprints, and AI Assistant. If you don't yet have a Jamf ID, you can create one at account.jamf.com. If you already have a Jamf ID, you can enable single sign-on in Jamf Pro now. First, navigate to Settings, User Accounts and Groups, and make sure your existing Jamf Pro user account contains the email address used for your Jamf ID. You can also create a new user account here if desired. Return to Settings, then navigate to Cloud Services Connection to ensure this is enabled. Finally, return to Settings, navigate to Single Sign-On, and click Edit. Select Enable SSO Authentication, then choose the OIDC Authentication option. While we're here, note the server's failover URL and copy it somewhere for safekeeping. By visiting this URL, administrators can bypass SSO and access their Jamf Pro server with local authentication if needed. Click Save and you're ready to go. The next time you access your Jamf Pro server, you'll be greeted with a Jamf ID login. And if you're already logged into Jamf account, no additional password entry is required. If your organization uses a separate identity provider to sync with Jamf account, you may need to complete additional steps within Jamf account and your chosen IDP. For complete steps to configure single sign-on with Jamf Pro using either of these methods, be sure to check out the full release notes. With the release of Jamf Pro 11.13, administrators can now collapse the sidebar to maximize working screen space. To collapse the sidebar, click the toggle button, giving inventory records, configuration profiles, and settings panels more room to breathe. Hover the cursor over the collapsed sidebar to view the contents without re-expanding the sidebar. Click the toggle button again to return the sidebar to an open position. Alongside the release of Jamf Pro 11.13 comes an updated self-service experience for enrolled computers, Self-Service Plus. Self-Service Plus already includes new functionality, and it will receive additional features in the coming year. Organizations using Jamf Protect can benefit from the built-in security dashboard in Self-Service Plus, informing users of their computer's protection status. To deploy Self-Service Plus, log in to Jamf Account and navigate to Products. Click the Add-ons tab and download the Self-Service Plus PKG. This package can then be uploaded to Jamf Pro for deployment like any other package. And to make Self-Service Plus more familiar and inviting for users, the appearance can be customized within Jamf Pro from Settings, Self-Service, Branding. For organizations who are currently using or would like to use an internal certificate authority for issuing certificates to devices, the Active Directory Certificate Services ADCS connector provides that capability. With the release of Jamf Pro 11.13 comes a major update to the ADCS connector, including a new outbound communication mode. Previously, the ADCS connector was only capable of inbound communication, requiring a certificate server to listen for certificate requests from Jamf Pro. The new outbound communication mode flips this around. Now the certificate server polls Jamf Pro for any pending certificate requests, submitting them as needed. When using the outbound communication mode, administrators no longer need to turn off firewalls and put servers in a DMZ to communicate with cloud-hosted Jamf Pro environments. Both inbound and outbound communication modes have valid use cases, so to decide which method might be best in your organization, take a look at the technical article linked in the resources. Organizations can use device compliance in Jamf Pro with Microsoft Entra ID to ensure only trusted users on compliant devices can access company resources. Jamf Pro 11.13 now supports Microsoft's Shared Device Mode, enabling organizations to benefit from device compliance on shared devices in addition to single-user devices. Device compliance for shared devices can be enabled in Jamf Pro from Settings, Global, Device Compliance. Select the new Shared Devices iOS and iPadOS checkbox, 
and enter a compliance group and an applicable group in the fields below. Further configuration will then need to be done within Azure, and the Jamf Setup and Reset apps will need to be deployed to target devices to complete the integration. For complete documentation, check out the full release notes and the technical article linked in the resources. That's it for our quick overview of some of the new features introduced in Jamf Pro 11.13. Be sure to visit the Jamf Pro release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub at learn.jamf.com for requirements and details about the features we've covered and to review all of the exciting updates in this version. Thanks for watching.